Welcome, welcome to our Christmas Eve service of lessons and carols. Thank you, Rachel, and thank you, Reed, for that beautiful prelude. And thanks to everyone who is making this evening possible. So sorry that we're not able to be with one another on this uh, wonderful night of mystery and wonder that is Christmas Eve, but we are together in spirit, I hope, and we uh, hope and pray that through the prayers that are lifted, the carols that are sung, and the scriptures that are read that you might see anew uh, by the presence of Christ's Spirit with you, that you might see anew the light of his love given to us at Christmas, and that that light will enlighten your life and help you to enlighten the lives of others. We invite you to worship with us every Sunday at 11 a.m. on YouTube and Facebook, and this coming Sunday will be a Christmas hymn sing Sunday. But now, let us worship God through scripture, prayer, and carol. Our call to worship. With the heavenly host, we glorify God this holy night. With the shepherds, we rejoice and celebrate. With people everywhere, we worship Christ, the newborn King. May the King of Kings reign in our hearts today and every day. Oh, 
Now let us pray. O Lord our God, on this night we gather as one though apart and celebrate a holy mystery. We acknowledge that heaven reached down and touched earth in the birth of a child. Thanks be to you, O God, our God, for this greatest of gifts. On this night, we pray that the light of the world that first shone on this night so long ago may shine again in our hearts and dispel the darkness from even the dark corridors of our memories. The long abandoned hopes and dreams, the hurts and scars of small and large injuries. The guilts, the regrets, may the light of your love shine and overcome our darkness. On this night, we pray the presence of your Holy Spirit, that as we read the ancient and familiar words of Scripture, as we sing the carols that proclaim the miracle of your love, we might be drawn into your presence and enabled to bow in joy and worship before the child as the shepherds of old and adore the Christ child your love made flesh for us and go from this place to serve him in joy as Lord of all. Amen. Now I'd like to invite uh, Whitney and Todd Leeson to come forward for the lighting of the Christ candle. night we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, the Son of Mary, the Son of God. We give thanks for the hope Christ gives us. We give thanks for the peace Christ brings. We celebrate with joy his birth and new possibilities. With each breath we are enveloped in love. We welcome and celebrate the birth of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. Tonight, we light all five candles on our wreath. The first candle shines brightly for hope in our lives. The second candle extends the promise of peace. The third candle dances for joy. The fourth candle illuminates the love that surrounds us. The center candle, the Christ candle, signifies that Jesus has been born this night. The hope, peace, joy, and love that we have longed for and waited for in our lives has arrived. As the candles burn brightly and light our path, let us live each day as those who have the Christ light burning inside us today and every day. Amen. Let us sing the refrain together.
Our first scripture reading tonight is from Isaiah, the ninth chapter. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This concludes this reading of scripture. reading from the first chapter of the gospel according to St. Luke. Hear the word of the Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. 
And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. And he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. It's the word of the Lord. Thank you. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above of thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and Another reading from Luke's Gospel. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them 
in the inn. Continue the reading from the second chapter of Luke. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. And when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. 
And when they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The word of the Lord. Our scripture lessons include a reading from the Gospel of John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Here ends the reading. Try 
triumph of the skies with the angelic calls proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king Christ by highest and sung the story of Jesus' birth. Let us affirm what we believe using scripture from Philippians chapter 2. Join with me. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of the Father. Amen.
praise to you, God, on high. Love is the gift of Christmas. Often we do take up an offering on Christmas Eve. And it is an offering for others. And for several years, our offering has been given to Family Promise. Family Promise works with families who are without housing. Different volunteers assist with meals and other costs so that the families can be saving up for their own home or apartment. This Christmas week, many of you have donated items as we have been hosts this Christmas week. We have chosen Family Promise again this year in honor of the Holy Family, who themselves were found to be without shelter in Bethlehem until they were invited into the stable. If you would like to send an offering to the church to honor the Holy Family and the work of Family Promise, please just write Family Promise on your check. We offer our gifts, our time, our prayers, and our love. Let us join our hearts in prayer. Good and gracious God, on this holy night you gave us your Son, the Lord of the universe, wrapped in swaddling clothes, the Savior of all, lying in a manger. On this holy night, draw us into the mystery of your love. Join our voices with the heavenly host, that we may sing your glory on high. Give us a place among the shepherds, that we may find the one for whom we have waited, Jesus Christ, your word made flesh. On this holy night, in which God joins heaven and earth, let us offer our prayers for the church, the world, and all those in need. We pray for the church around the world as it celebrates the birth of Christ, Bless all those who are entrusted with Christian ministry, that your word might be proclaimed with truth and courage all across our world. We pray for all who are cold, hungry, or alone on this night. We pray for those who are feeling isolated or distanced because of the COVID virus. Embrace with your tender care all who are alone or anxious, that they may experience the hope of this holy night. Grant reconciliation to those surrounded with conflict and violence, that they may live in the peace of this holy night. We pray for parents and families and newborn infants. Strengthen families in the bonds of love and commitment, that they may delight in the joy of this holy night. And we pray for all who are anxious and depressed or ill. Draw near to those who find this season a source of pain or grief. And to all who are suffering or sick, especially those we remember in our own hearts, that they may feel the comfort of this holy night. And we pray for ourselves and for the blessings of Christmas. Open our hearts to your presence, that we may be transformed by the new birth of this holy night. In all that we do and in all that we are, send your spirit to empower us to share the grace we find with everyone we encounter. This we pray in the name of your Son, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
So every Christmas Eve, we wait for this moment, which for many of us that are, grew up in the church is the moment, the moment when Christ comes for us. We wait on this moment with a lump in our throats, remembering past Christmas Eves, when we light the candles and sing under their soft, joyous glow. We light candles because we believe that when Jesus was born, that the light of God's love came to us in our world, in an out-of-the-way place, in a shabby stable, and that that light of God's love is the whole reason we celebrate Christmas. The light of God's love was not only for that night so long ago. It is a light that shines on all of us who trust it. It shines in our hearts no matter how dark this old world may seem. It shines even though we cannot be together tonight. It shines because nothing can overcome God's love. So I invite you to light your candles at home. We light our candles here in the sanctuary. We'll light our candles together, even though we're apart. The light of God's love binds us together on this night. And so let us be filled with joy. Let us sing together silent night and raise our candles high on the last verse.
As you remember the child born in Bethlehem, may you also remember to honor the child in your own heart. And may you follow the light of the stars in your dreams and know that God is with you wherever you go. And let the hope that was born in a stable be a sign that God can change the world through one small child. May the spirit of Christmas warm our hearts all the year long. Grace and peace be with you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Merry Christmas. Amen.